Hello, this tutorial will tell you how to remove the inbuilt Universal Windows apps that Windows 10 comes with. So on a completely fresh install of Windows 10, such as this one here, if you click on the Start menu, you'll notice all of these apps that Windows 10 comes installed with. Things like Minecraft and Skype Preview and Facebook, Twitter, uh, Solitaire Collection, Xbox Games, things like that. Perhaps you're an IT professional trying to configure a system for a school or workplace environment and you don't want your colleagues uh, or people using your um, system to be able to have access to these apps. Um, this is a really great PowerShell script that you can use to simply remove all of the apps or just the ones that you want to remove and it will really save you a lot of time because otherwise you'd have to right click and install on every single one. So we're going to get started first thing you need to do is create a folder anywhere on the computer, doesn't really matter. I've just called it remove apps. And then inside here, create a new text document called remove apps. Now the syntax for actually removing the apps is really, really simple. Uh, basically it's just get dash space apex package, the name of the app uh, space one of those lines and then remove Apex package and in the video description below are all of the different options you can have in here for all of the different apps that you can remove but you can see that this script is going to remove things like the Xbox app, the clock and alarms apps, all the Bing apps, Bing finance, Bing news, Bing sports, communication apps, things like mail and people, things like that, messaging app, Facebook, Twitter, Minecraft, it's going to remove them all okay so what we're going to do Let's go file, save as, and then make sure you change the save as type from text document to all files, and then put .ps1 on the end of this. Now PS1 file is the PowerShell script. Click save, and then click close on that one. And you can see now we've got this PowerShell script, so we can remove this text document here. Now if you were to right click on this file, and then click on run with PowerShell, that would go through and remove all of the apps that are in that script. But if you want to actually put this uh, uh, script into part of another script or maybe a task sequence or something like that, if you're going to deploy Windows, you need to right click and then create a new text document. Make sure it's the same name as your PowerShell script. And then in this text document, and again, this code is in the description, uh, copy this in. So this is a batch file that basically will run the PowerShell script as long as the batch file and the PowerShell script are in the same folder and have the same name. So come to file, save as, and then change the type to all file, call it removeapps.bat. Okay, and then come out of that and then we can remove that there. So if you want to run this uh, PowerShell script as part of a task sequence or part of a larger batch file, you can simply invoke this batch script here and uh, clicking on it, that should open up PowerShell. So you might get a user account control dialog, so just click yes to that. And then the first time you run the script, it will start removing all of the apps here. And sometimes it doesn't always remove the apps first time, sometimes you have to run it several times. But generally speaking, as we can see, the apps have been removed. And then after a computer restart, those apps will be gone. So thank you for watching my video on how to remove apps with PowerShell in Windows 10. All of the codes you need is in the description below, and that should really help you out. Thanks again.